Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me out, make sure to subscribe. Now enjoy the video. Another cop tried to talk to me. So what is it that you want? Are you trying to get more information out of me? Because you're not going to get anything. I told the last cop you're not going to get nothing from me. Simple conversation. Like I can believe that. After all, you guys did capture me and put me in a room that... Retardants my flame. Even if I try to escape, I won't have enough firepower to get through the first row of guards. So, I guess I'll cooperate for right now. But that's just for right now. So what do you want? So you saw the video too. I'm glad that video got out to the world to tell how much of my father is really a hero. Not much, is it? <laughs> well, of course. After all, he shunned me away. You really think I'm going to forgive him for shunning his own son away? Put me out in the danger of the world without even a protector at my side. I had to learn to survive by myself. Do you really think that's going to pull out in any type of court cases or even type of conversation with him? Even the press is messed up, getting our story all types of twisted. And of course, you're just here for information. Not a lot of information coming from a person who's quiet and won't speak up of his organization. Just face it, the police and the government is more twisted than us villains. All they want to do is try to protect all the innocents out there, when in reality they're the real villains, mistaking innocent lives as those of me, a villain, just because they do something simply just a minor of an issue to you policemen. It makes me laugh. <laughs> it makes me laugh because, well... It reminds me of exactly what my org does. Protecting those who can't protect themselves. Sounds familiar, right? You took an oath as an officer. Those exact words. We're not much as different as you think we are. And to think, I really thought you were a nice person. But as soon as I saw that badge on your abdomen, or even on your chest, I realized you're a worse villain than I am. Look at me in my face. Look at me in my burnt, disgusting, grotesque face. Do you really think that any of us are not the same? You have another thing coming, officer. 
The League of Villains have their own secret organization. More like a sub-organization. We're trying to get as many people on our side as we can. After all, we already outnumber you because of all the escapees from the prisons. And... With all for one out there again, with his best friend Shigaraki. You don't stand a chance against them. <laughs> oh, that's grand. You really think you're going to be able to stop everyone? <laughs> oh. You know, I can't really show that much emotion, otherwise my stitching's going to come out. But you just made me laugh so hard that I don't even care. You are nothing compared to what type of army that the League of Villains is building. We'll see about that. After all, isn't the hero organization already discontinued? Most of your heroes are out in the streets causing all sorts of chaos and crime themselves. Hell, I saw on the news a few days ago that some of those so-called heroes are now put into custody because of all the stuff they've caused. Along with some citizens taking it for themselves to become heroes to protect others that can't. Can't you see? Your kingdom is crumbling beneath you. And you can't even see that because you're blinded by your own states and facts. Although you have me locked up in here, that's not going to stop everyone else from causing all sorts of damage to the city. Just face it. You're nothing. All right. If you insist, leave me be to my own thinking. After all, the League is always looking out for others that can't protect themselves. Before you go, officer, I just have one more thing to ask you. You have a family, right? A family that you love and care for. Something to look forward to once you get out of here. I guarantee you, I'm going to remember your face. I'm going to remember that strict tone in your voice. And also that disgust look on your face when you look towards me. I'm going to remember every single detail about you. Because when I get out of here, and I promise you, I will. I'm going to make sure that your own family is not even going to recognize you when I'm done with you. <laughs> See you later, officer. And just remember your code of honor. Protect others that can't. Go beyond. Plus. Ultra. <laughs> Shigaraki and the others will be here in a matter of days to get me out of here. They really think they have the upper hand against me, when in reality, they have no idea what's coming for them. But I know exactly what's going to happen to them once I get out of here. 
police officers are going to be begging for our lives and then possibly begging to join us. Well, I'll be waiting for that ex exciting day. Shigaraki. All for one. I wait for your arrival.